Here we have a Perkins hit miss model engine. I believe it's half scale. This weighs 29 pounds and it has seven and three quarter inch flywheels. I believe it's a little bit too big to be uh, quarter scale. So this is a half scale model of the real thing. Runs great. Ignition supplied by a buzz coil that's underneath. You'll see pictures of the buzz coil in the ad. Right now I'm powering it with a 12 volt gel cell. That's not included in the sale. This is a real nice running motor. Easy to start. And here's the, f the fuel tank. It's in here. I'm running Coleman fuel with some uh, model aviation uh, castor oil mixed in with it a little bit. It's got grease cups on it. Using some synthetic grease in there. You turn the caps in and that you can see the grease coming out around the fittings then. Let's see if I can give it a start here with one hand. Come around with the compression stroke. Give it a shot again. Can't give it a good flip like I can when I'm using two hands. There we go. Battery I have clipped on two brass terminals here. Or you can use an RCA plug with your battery. I use the brass terminals here with the ones that I have. There's no guard on this one, so don't, I wouldn't put your, don't put your fingers in there. You could get your finger between the uh, crankshaft connecting rod and the block there. I think that would take a finger off right there. On the uh, fuel mixture needle there, I only have that at about a quarter of a turn. I put on some 
clear fuel line. So when you fill it up, you'll see the when you fill the tank up, the tank has an overflow on it. When you fill the tank up, you'll see the fuel come up to about here. And then as soon as you spin it over like twice by hand, you'll see the fuel suck up into here. There's a one-way valve inside of here that won't allow the fuel to flow the siphon back down into the uh, fuel tank. And if you've watched any of my other videos, that's how I've gotten the other hit miss motors I've had to run well is by putting in a runway flow valve that keeps the, they call them fuel mixtures, mixers on these, I, I call them carburetors, but I guess it's not really a carburetor because it does not have a butterfly in it, it's just a fuel mixer. But uh, one-way valve keeps the fuel at the jet, so on each intake hit there, fuel's there ready to go. As you can hear, like it fires every single time. It only has to draw in air once and the fuel is there. So just regular uh, NW30 weight oil in the oil. Turn this out a little bit if you fill it up. And you can see in the sight plug in there, you can see it just drip every once in a while. That's an upper cylinder lubrication. And you want to lubricate all the moving all the all the moving po points on this every time you run it. If it moves oil it. You can't use too much. Since this is an open crank, it's open underneath too. There's a little tin underneath with a rag in it that catches some of the oil that drips off the uh, connecting rod and crank there. If you have any questions, I have my email address below on this video, joekine at comcast.net. Please email me should you have any questions about the sale of this engine. Uh, it's June 2nd, 2015 right now, and when it sells, I will list it as sold uh, below in the video. Shut it off. Just disconnect the power and there you go. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, email me. JoeKind at Comcast.net. I have it written below here in the video. Thanks.